How's it going everybody out there? We are here on Hearthstone. Going to be checking out the Warrior deck. I uh, just made this deck. I've been working on it for a little bit. Um, you can actually check it out. Uh, but th the basic deck goes like this. You've got your two Inner Rages, your two Executes, two Whirlwinds, two Fiery War Axes, two Cleaves, two Slams, a Blood Mage Thalnos, Youthful Brewmaster, there's two of those, uh, two Shield Blocks, two Raging Wargans, two Warsong Commanders, two Arathi Weaponsmiths, a Brawl, a Zerdrakes, two of those, and two Gadgets and Auctioneers, auctioneers and two Molten Giants. Now, that's the deck right there. Um, a few things can be switched out if you'd like. The Youthful Brewmasters, um, they can be switched out. They're not that big of a deal. But, at the same time, they do pretty well uh, in this deck. Now, you can play your Azur Drake, and then, I mean, like, turn 7, I believe. Where is it? Yeah, turn 7 or turn 6 with a coin. Play your Azur Drake, get your card, get your card draw, and then uh, Youthful Brewmaster and back. That way, next turn, you can play him again, which is pretty cool. Um... As a warrior, you're going to be using your weapons. Um, I'm using my fiery war axes, so as a warrior, you'll be using your weapons and taking some hits to the face. So, Molten Giant costs one less for each damage your hero has taken. Amazing card. It's going to be amazing. Uh, it's going to be very cheap, too, uh, quickly. Um, and then you have a lot of pressure on the field that they're going to have to deal with early game, and it's just going to be tough. Um, let's see. Okay, Brawl. Brawl's a pretty good card, but it's also a RNG card. You're pretty much gambling your minions versus their minions. But it's actually really good um, when you have, let's say that your opponent has three or four minions on the field and you only have one, go ahead and just pr uh, play Brawl and only one's going to survive. So you have a lot higher of a chance of, uh, well, basically most of all of those monsters that he has are going to die and it's either up to him or you is going to get the one that's still going to be alive. So it can be an awesome card, but at the same time it can also screw you. So you just got to be careful with that. A Rothy Weaponsmith, always a good card. Uh, mana cost 4, it's a 3-3, three, three, but at a battle cry you equip a 2-2 equip two, two weapon, which is awesome. Um, you'll notice that I don't have upgrade in here at all. I don't need upgrade for this. This is not a super weapons deck. Um, I have Fiery War Axe for early game pressure to get rid of minions when I need. That is what weapons are used for. That's about it. Unless you're, you know, about to kill somebody, you're using your weapons to kill minions. Thus getting your Molten Giant out quicker. So it's perfect. Um, a Zerd Drake card draw, you know, perfect for that. Gadgets and Auctioneer, whenever you cast a spell, draw a card. I went with the Gadgets and Auctioneer because I have a lot of spells in here. I'm doing a lot of things. So, I play Gadgets and Auctioneer and then Inner Rage, maybe two Inner Rages on him, and he's destroying. Not only is he destroying, I just drew two cards. So, uh, pretty good card to have. So I have two of those. Um, Warsong Commander, always going to have Warsong Commander in a Warrior deck, always. Gives your other minions, uh, they get Charge, which is, as soon as you play a Raging Worgen or whatever it is, uh, Molten Giant. <laughs> yeah. Molten Giant with uh, Warsong Commander, it's game. You just punch him in the face immediately and they're knocked out. Um, cleave, obviously, for that, you know, uh, clear, that board clear, deal two damage to random enemy minions, really good card. Slam, deal two damage to a minion if it survives, draw a card, always good. Um, Blood Mage Thalnos, now here's the deal with Blood Mage Thalnos. He is a legendary, so he is going to be expensive to have, but not only does he have more spell damage and he also on his death rattle draws a card but he's also good early game pressure because for this certain reason um, they don't want to kill this but at the same time they want to kill this because uh, the spell damage so it's a mix between two you know you have your spell damage or you get your death rattle it's one of the two unless they silence blood mage thanos then it was just an expensive one one but most of the time they can't get that pressure out that early unless they have an iron beak owl shield block always good card game five armor and draw a card um you definitely want to have two of those just always um you know if you're not seeing a lot of pressure or anything like that just armor up and take a hit um 
Whirlwind, deal one damage to all minions. It's a good board clear in the beginning of the game, or you know, if you need some extra damage out there, you just go ahead and do it. But just remember for Whirlwind, it's deal damage, deal one damage to all minions. So you got to be careful on that one. Um, and I think that's. I mean, you have your Raging Worgen, your Enrage, Wind Fury plus one attack. Imagine getting a Raging Worgen out and then putting in a Rage on him. Do you understand that that is? Let's see here. Raging Worgen, plus one attack and Wind Fury, so that's plus four attack, and then Inner Rage is that six attack, plus Wind Fury, so you just did 12 damage, and there's no way he could answer to that, except he's gonna have to, f he's gonna have to force to be used, uh, something to kill it, you know, um, so there you go, I mean, that's pretty much the deck, uh, you guys can go check it out, try it for yourselves, let me know how it goes, it's an amazing deck, um, takes a little bit of practice, just like any new deck, you got to get used to it. So I hope you guys enjoy that, and stay tuned and subscribe, and we'll be making a lot more um, videos just like this, and new, new classes, new decks, and everything like that. So, alrighty, well, enjoy.